So it's time for the final episode of this edition of Wrapped Up, Wrapped Up Risk. If you don't know, I did a series on my channel this year where I wrapped up 25 books I was most excited to read and 25 books I was least excited to read and I'd unwrap one and vlog it. And it's time for the last episode we put Wrapped Up on hold for a couple months before December when we bring it back in a new edition. But I was thinking, how can I truly make this last episode worth it. Like what could be amazing? What could be wrapped up deserve something amazing for this last episode? And then I remembered those kinds of videos everyone's been doing. I did one myself a couple months ago where I can't stop reading until I find a five star. So I'm gonna do that again. But this time I can't stop unwrapping books until I find a five star. The difference with those videos is you can choose what you read. You can choose the books that you pick that you think are gonna be a five star. I can't do that in this. I just have to unwrap books and see where life takes me. <laughs> I don't mean to make her nervous that much. So that's what we're gonna do. It's the final episode of Wrapped Up. I cannot stop unwrapping books until I find a five star. This could, I'm scared. What if there's not a five star left? There's like, I don't know, 30 books left wrapped up. What if, what if none of them are a five star? What do we do then? <laughs> I could end up reading 30 books in this vlog. Anyways, let's go unwrap our first one and see what it is. Okay, it's time to unwrap the first book that we're gonna be reading. <laughs> for this vlog. And you know what? I'm not feeling the same nerves that I think I usually feel with unwrapping a book for Wrapped Up because it, usually it's like, this is the book I'm reading, locked in, ready to go. But I feel like we're gonna be reading more than one book in this vlog. I actually hope so. I hope that this first book isn't a five star because it's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> I mean, of course you're always hoping for a five star, but like, you know. <laughs> It would kind of be, I've been building this up in my head, like I'm gonna read like so many books. If the first one's a five star, it's like, well, <laughs> what did we, what did we do here? So I'm just gonna dive in and unwrap one. Um, 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 what color do I wanna go for? I'm going, I feel like this red or this green. No, we'll go. Mm. Mm. Why am I nervous? Go for this green, we're going for it. I feel like it's quite short. No, we're going for it. We're locked in. Okay. <laughs> Let's open. Okay. <laughs> okay, this was one of the books I was least excited to read. This is The Unsinkable Greta James by Jennifer E. Smith. An indie musician reeling from tragedy and a public breakdown reconnects with her father on a week-long cruise and this pitch-perfect story about the way we recover love in the strangest of places. So I think it's kind of a romance kind of like finding herself again on this cruise. Kind of gives me Daisy Jones vibes just because he's a musician, I don't know. <laughs> I've connected the two dots. You didn't connect shit, but. I've connected them. But yeah, this is one that I just got from Book of the Month a while ago. This is March, 2022, this came. And um, it was just one of the picks I wasn't sure that I was like as excited to read, but we'll give it a go. Don't think this is gonna be five stars. This would not be a five star prediction for me, but I guess we'll just see and find out. But yeah, interesting first pick. Okay, and it's not too long. How long is it? It is just 300 pages. So I think it should be a quick read. However, you know, I find it. <laughs> so a couple of people have asked me for some of the stats surrounding Wrapped Up. So you can just skip this bit if you're not interested in it. But these here are the nine books. Oh, the nine... I didn't deserve that. Oh my God. And I really scratched my head and I wonder, Where's God when you need him? These are the nine books I have, don't do it again, I swear to God. <laughs> These are the nine books I have read in Wrapped Up this year, or last year, this series, this season. <laughs> Why did I say that so weird? Series. My brain was trying to figure out if I said we should say series or season. Anyways, so the books that have been in Wrapped Up Risk are The Inugami Curse by Sashi Okamizo, When Women Were Dragons by Kelly Barnhill, The Restless Dark by Erica Waters, The Year of the Reaper by Makia Lucia, The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green, Yerba Buena by Nina Lacour, The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker, Girls of Fate and Fury by Natasha Niang, and Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. Now, now, of that stack, seven were ones I was most excited for and two or three now, I suppose, with Greta James. Three were ones that I was least excited for. So I got pretty lucky with that split so far, but it does mean going into this video that I've got more books still wrapped up that I was least excited for, which the chances of getting a five star with them aren't as good. So, you know, 
swings and roundabouts. But yeah, that's the split we've had in terms of that. In terms of genres, I've had one horror, one romance, or two if you count Greta James, four fantasy, one historical, one nonfiction, and one mystery. And in terms of ratings, I've given out one two star, one 2.5 star, one three star, one 3.5 star, three four stars, one 4.5 star, and one five star. So we've only had this series, this season of Wrapped Up Brisk, we've only had one five star so far, and I'm asking for another one. So <laughs> the chances are not the best. But yeah, that's all the stats I could really think of. There's not many stats surrounding this. But you know, my average rating is a 3.6 though, which my average rating this year has been a 3.7. So you could say that I have as good a chance as any as getting a five star because my average rating is kind of the same. I have as usual chance of getting a five star, but I feel like not being able to choose does lower my odds a little bit. So anyways, let's get into the reading. Okay, it's time to start the reading portion of this vlog. I am halfway through An Unsinkable Greta James. Basically, all you need to know about this plot is a fine Greta James who's a famous musician, a famous singer and guitarist, and her mother passed away a couple months ago. And her parents and some of their friends were booked to go on this cruise to Alaska. And she is basically encouraged by her brother to go on this cruise with her dad. And she has a very difficult relationship with her dad. They're kind of like, they butt heads a lot, you know? And there's also a romance with a guy that she's met on the cruise who's very different than her usual <laughs> type of guy. But I'd say it's not I wouldn't call it a romance necessarily. It's like 50-50 contemporary and romance. Okay, I'm enjoying this so much more than I expected to. I kind of went into this with no expectations. I thought I'd find it kind of boring. I think this is kind of beautiful, right? I wasn't expecting that at all. Here's the thing, the aspects, the strongest part of this for me is the parts untackling grief and talking about her relationship with her mother, her grief now, how her grief has manifested, her father's grief, how she's trying to be there for her dad, but they have such a, a, a frictious relationship that it's really difficult to do so. But I've almost cried many times when she's talking about her mother and like, oh, there was this section I just read where she was talking about how her mum used to always turn up to her shows with like a sign that said Greta's mum and just talking about kind of how her mum had been there for her over the years. And I got like really emotional. And then they, she had a chat with like one of her mum's best friends who's on the cruise. And I found that really emotional as well. I think for someone to lose their mother is always a really like unmooring place for someone to be. I think that's one of the hardest relationships to lose. And for your mum to pass away, that can be such a for a lot of people talk about what a devastating kind of experience that is. It's one of the hardest people I think to lose because your mother's like your mother. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. And so I just think the way that that has been being tackled is, is beautiful. I think the writing is really nice. I'm surprised by how I'm enjoying the writing. It's a very, very quick read. Like you just fly through it. It's a propulsive read. I mean, it's not like loads is happening. It's quite a gentle and soft book. I don't know. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I don't think it's going to be a five star. You know, like part of me, like this video, <laughs> part of me doesn't want it to be because like this video, part of the excitement was going to be I'd have to unwrap loads of books. I think it's going to be a very strong four, maybe even a 4.5. <gasps> Could it be? I don't know. Interesting. At the moment, I'm not really into the romance element of it. She has met this guy on the cruise and I'm not buying into the romance necessarily. I'm not disliking it, but it's not making me feel enough for it to be a five star considering it's like basically half of the book, you know? I am enjoying it being set on a cruise. I've been on a cruise or two, well, two in my lifetime. I haven't been to one in Alaska, but I did go to one last year in Norway, which I vlogged. I did like reading murder mysteries set on cruises, on a cruise. So when they're talking about glaciers and stuff like that, I'm remembering, I'm picturing places I went to in Norway, but I'm surprised by how much I'm enjoying this. This was probably like a three star prediction for me and it's definitely, a lot stronger than that. So I need to edit a video the rest of today, but then I have got reading sprints later with my patrons. So I'm hoping to definitely finish that tonight and start on another one. If this isn't five stars, if this is five stars, you probably know already, because this is gonna be a short vlog. <laughs> but I thought I would unwrap with you. Hang on, I have to like cover everything. <laughs> But I got a parcel and I think I know who it's from and I thought we'd open it together. I wanted to wait 
to open it with you. How do I get into this? Oh, there. Oh my goodness. Hold on. <gasps> Wait, what have I just seen? Oh no, get out. Oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so this parcel is from my friend Lindsay, who I met in London a couple of weeks, uh, no, not weeks ago, months ago while she was over here. She's got a little bracelet. <laughs> a lovely little note and a bookmark but she has very kindly sent me copies a finished copy of her book the glass witch which came out last year and then an arc of the odds which comes out later this year i think in, oh yeah september 19th this comes out i am so excited these have been a little bit difficult the first one which is already out has been difficult to get my hands on in the uk so when she offered me uh an arc of the odds i was like could you send me the glass witch as well please because <laughs> i I haven't been able to get it in the UK. I am so excited. These are both like spooky, cozy, middle grade that Lindsay writes. And I'm just, oh, I'll link Lindsay's authortube channel down below as well. Lindsay has an authortube channel, probably my favorite authortuber to watch. I love her videos. I've loved her videos for so long before we were friends. Oh my God, this is so exciting. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah, the glass switch is one that's already out. The odds is coming out in September. So hopefully I'll get round these soon. These are perfect for like spooky season as well. How exciting. The Odds Witch is the new one. It's about a girl who I think has grown up at a retirement home that she's been at since she was a baby. And she's waiting for like her oddity to arrive because everyone there has like a special power. And if she doesn't, her oddity doesn't appear, then she has to leave the retirement home and like all of her family that she's been with oh my gosh i am so excited thank you Lindsay, so much for sending me these and the little bracelet and the note it's so kind so yeah i'll leave Lindsay's channel link down below but how exciting is this <gasps> i just like want to read these both right now this is so exciting thank you Lindsay. anyways i'm gonna go edit i've been editing a lot of videos because i'm going camping next week so i've been like furiously editing every single day and it's i'm starting to burn out but i gotta do it again tomorrow <laughs> And then hopefully I will have a good chunk of time to read this today because I definitely want to finish this and make some progress in another book if we unwrap another one later. And now, just a few hours later, on some reading sprints not so far away, everything begins to fall apart.
we might have a problem. <laughs> I'm on my phone. Because there was one was near me. Because <gasps> I'm like 200 pages in and it's making me sob. <laughs> what if this is a five star? What if this is a five star? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> No, no, I'm not. <laughs> Absolutely not. We have a problem because this might end up being five stars. <laughs> it's making me feel things <laughs> very strongly. <laughs> this vlog was supposed to be like, oh my god, I'm unwrapping all these books. Like, we're unwrapping so many books. I've unwrapped one. I've unwrapped one. And it might be a five star. <laughs> this is not how the finale of Wrapped Up was supposed to go. <laughs> okay. 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 We definitely have a problem because I'm giving this five stars. Yup! 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 I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. I, I, I'm actually like, I'm, I'm, there's a war of emotions going on with me because of course I'm happy. I'm giving a book five stars. I never could have imagined years I've expected to. But also this video was supposed to be a, like a behemoth. It was supposed to be an incredible video where I'm like, I'm wrapping eight books. It's like a roller coaster of emotions. And I've given a five star to the first book, the first book, which if it, when I sat down with this edition of Wrapped Up, where it was half books I was most excited for, half books I was least excited for, and I had to think of what books I was least excited for. This was pretty much first on there. Pretty much first on there. I'm giving it five stars. It hit me. It got me. It hit me. It hit me. The part that I credit the most on the live is a discussion she has with her dad around, you know, the first half is more her dealing with losing her mother and what it's like to lose her mother. But then there's this discussion about what it's like to lose your person. I'm not gonna cry again what it's like to lose your person that you've lived your whole life with. Like, how do you even go on after that? <laughs> what happened? Is he all right? No, I'm not gonna cry. Okay, what happened? Maybe I'll cry. I wept, like I was groaning. I, w it got me, it got me. And what this says about like life and not everything always going as it should and perseverance and how feeling things deeply is okay and also what it says about art i loved it <laughs> here's the thing i don't want you guys to think she just wanted this video to be done quickly so she just is giving it five stars i promise you if i was gonna fake giving a book five stars it wouldn't be with this book because i don't want you to read it you guys are gonna read it and be like she gave that five stars? She gave that five stars? She gave that five stars? Because it's not. <laughs> it's like a cute little beach read, right? One of the reviews I went and looked at was called it Beach Read Fail. Rude! <laughs> it's a lovely little book. I think it's beautiful. I think it's poignant. I loved what it said. But what it's saying is fairly on the nose, okay? It's not hiding anything. It's not making you think about anything. It is fairly on the nose. But that's okay! I loved it. It's five stars. It made me sob multiple times. Let's put the end. Ooh. <laughs> and there is a romance in it. I could have done without the romance, but I did like at the end the way that it factored into the story. But to be honest, like it's not about the romance. The romance is not 50% of this book. I'd say it's like 30%. The bulk of it is her dealing with this loss and her dad dealing with this loss. And I'm trying to figure out how to deal with it together. And I loved it. I mean, bear in mind, I have given the last two books, I read two stars and 2.5, and I feel like a bit of a struggle. And then this comes along and it's just what I needed in this moment. And that's beautiful. Wrapped up, I have just decided the universe blessed me.
It blessed me. It bestowed a gift upon me. God has smiled on me. <laughs> yes, he has. Because I was like, should I, I don't know, read until I find another five star? This, because gonna be so sh this video is going to be so short. Like, what do I do? And do you know what? No. The universe said, you need a five star straight away, Megan. You need a five star straight away and I'm going to give it to you. And I could not put it down. I read this in like two hours. It was beautiful. It was amazing. I loved it. I loved it, but it's, it's, it's surface level. I recognize that, okay? I'm not telling you all to put this up. Oh God, oh, there were just so many moments where it knows it's trying to make me cry. It not, that's its, its intention is to make me cry, but like, I don't care. You did it, you made me cry. Are you happy, Jennifer? Are you happy? This vlog isn't over though, let's, let, let's regroup in the morning. We'll unwrap some more books and see if I think any of them could have been a five star and see what I would have unwrapped next. Oh God, dear Lord. I have not cried at a book like that in a long time. And I think I do like books about musicians. It kind of gave, you know, Daisy Jones vibes. Greta James, Daisy Jones, like they're supposed to sound similar. Like, it, you know, I'm not interested in fame, but I'm interested in an artist's perspective on art, whatever form of art that will be. Anything creative. I think I do like creative characters, but really at the core of it, I love beautiful relationships between loved ones. And this had that, and you could feel her mother's love oozing out of the page, even though she wasn't there. She wasn't there. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow and we'll end, end this edition of Wrapped Up. <sighs> Guys, I fucking gave the first book five stars. I, I, I'm not done. I'm not done. One more thing. <laughs> I was so sure this wasn't going to be a five star. I only checked in with you halfway. I was like, usually with Wrapped Up, if I'm reading one book in a vlog, I'll check in with you like every hundred pages or less. I only checked in with you halfway. I was so convinced it wasn't gonna be five star, but I was in denial. I was in denial because every, the past couple of days I've had to do work stuff, right? So I haven't been able to read this as quickly as I could have. And I've been so pissed off. Every time I've looked at this book, I've just wanted to read it, but I've had to do other things. I've been so annoyed when I'm doing other things. And all I've been thinking about is reading this book and how excited I am to pick the book up again. Who did I think I was? Who did I think I was if that wasn't five star energy? Who did I think I was if that wasn't five star energy? <sighs> Anyways, now I, that was enough. I just had to say that. Okay, now I will see you in the morning and we'll unwrap what is left of Wrapped Up. Okay, so it is time to say goodbye to Wrapped Up Brisk. It has ended. I, can, I still am kind of in denial that I got a five star. It's a very, like, we'll talk about this in a second. It's a very different kind of five star for me, but it's still a five star. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie and say it's a 4.5 when it's a five, just so the vlog goes on longer. But yeah, this vlog wasn't what I pictured it to be. Obviously I thought I'd read like eight books and it would be a struggle to find a five star. It really was a curveball. When life gives you lemons, make, no, that's not the right thing. When you make plans, God laughs. <laughs> So I thought it'd just be fun to maybe unwrap five books and see whether I think any of them would have been five stars. Obviously we have no idea because I didn't think in a million years that would be a five star. No way, no how. I would never would have put money on that. But let's give it a go, shall we? So I think I, what I would have unwrapped next had I not given that a five star would have been like a little paperback. This is just the top one. Um, but yeah, probably like a shorter book would have been what I would have unwrapped next. So let's see what this is. Oh, okay. I don't think this is, this would be a five star. This is Every Line of You, which was another one that I was least excited for. It's about like an AI that becomes real. I, you know, I still own it. So I still think I would enjoy it, but I don't think, it's like YA. I don't think that would have been a five star. You've been very, very arsh. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Kelly arsh. Let's go for this one next, this yellow one here. Do I think this would have been a five star? Can you imagine if I like had read 20 books? Well, it just didn't happen. Maybe I'll have to do this again next year for the end of that year wrapped up, who knows? Oh, okay, this is interesting. This is Girl in the... I swear to God. <laughs> books at the moment, me and books just aren't working out. This is Girl on the Walls by AJ Ganuse. This is one, I pre-ordered this, I still haven't read it. Lovely spray edges, it's about a girl who lives in the walls of this house. I've heard not the best things about this, but it is still a book I'm really excited to read and think I would enjoy. I don't think this would be a five star, this is maybe a four star, but I think this is the kind of book that if anyone is gonna give this a five star, it might be me. 
you know? That's an interesting one. I would have liked to have read that in this vlog. What next? I guess let's go for a red one. I'm gonna go, let's go for this red one. It's a bit thicker. <gasps> oh, I'm so sad I didn't unwrap this. <laughs> well, I can still read it. These books aren't leaving my collection. In fact, I'm gonna unwrap them all now. But um, The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead is one of the books, if I could read anything right now, probably one of the books I'd like to read the most. I've heard such good things about this. I think it's about friends who kind of end up in this cult and they escape and then one of them dies and there's a podcast. I really enjoyed In My Dreams of Hot Knife by Ashley Winstead and I just think there's something about her writing that really excites me. So I don't know what video I've got coming up that I'm going to read this for but I really do want to get to this before the end of the year. This I think I would have given five stars. This is a five star prediction. I think there's a strong chance if I had picked this I would have given it five stars and it would have been a five star I could more you know, unanimously recommend to you guys. <laughs> but I don't, yeah, Greta James is not that, but I still loved it. I feel insecure about my love for it because it is kind of like chick lit-esque book. I mean, we don't use that term anymore, but it would have been that. Let's see what this one is. This is our fourth one. Oh, okay. We have Educated by Tara Westover. So many people have told me that I'm gonna love this. I need to read it ASAP. I've heard such good things about this memoir. It's now one of the oldest books on my TV. <laughs> so we gotta get to reading it soon. This is another one I think could have been a five star. Yeah. And this and The Last Housewife are our best bet so far. Let's unwrap one more. What should we unwrap? I'm gonna go for this one here. It's quite a big one again. Oh, it's, oh, come on. This is, oh. <laughs> This would have been another great one to unwrap. It's Her Majesty's Royal Coven by Juno Dawson. This is one of the series I want to start the most. I have the sequel already. <laughs> I bought the sequel already, even though I, I never do that for books I haven't read. Wow. Crazy. You're crazy, girl. This is one of the books I would like to read the most right now again. This and The Last Housewife are up there for me. I think they're both on my 2023 TBR, so like realistically I should get around to them soon. But I have heard such good things about this. It's like a witchy coven in Her Majesty's government in the UK and I, oh, I just had such good things. So that's interesting. I don't know if they would have been the next five that I would have unwrapped, but I think these two and Educated, to be honest, would have been really good chances of five stars. These were definitely ones I was most excited to read and then I think these other three were ones I was least excited to read just because I find them daunting for whatever reason. Oh gosh, I'm excited to unwrap all these books because the thing with Wrapped Up is when these books are wrapped up for so long I kind of like forget about them because I don't visually see them every day like I do with all my other books so like just visually seeing these again feels like I have new books. I feel like this is gonna feel like I've hauled like 30 new books again. <laughs> so there we have it. Wrapped Up is done it will be back in a new iteration in December I already know what it is and I'm really excited it's gonna make me read books let's just say that I've been avoiding I've evidently been avoiding so that's what we're gonna go with next year or this year in December but it'll be on hold for a couple months and I still can't believe I got a five star on the unsinkable Greta James like I said it's not a book that I'm gonna recommend you all go out and read it's a lovely little book right it does what it needs to do it talks about grief and loss and how we move through that as humans right and for me it was a five star it just hit me where I needed it so I don't know I really enjoyed it if it sounds intriguing to you I'd pick it up but it's not a book that I'm like oh my god you all have to go read this now I just loved it I found it's quiet really lovely I think because I've been on cruises before I found the setting and the imagery really vivid you know, even though I went to Norway the fjords is similar kind of setting I guess to Alaska and so I found that element really vivid so there was just a lot I loved about this and I can't believe we got a five star in one. What are the chances? Quite low. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, even if it was a little bit anticlimactic, and I will see you guys soon in another one. Bye!